So if you're like me, you're stuck at home, this is my cat. He is breaking the mat. Go away now. Hey everybody, how you doing today? My name's Andrew, and we are gonna go through our home flexibility check. And in each posture, I want you to give yourself a score. So the scores will pop up on the screen. So the more flexible you are, obviously the higher your score. And just anyway, we're gonna have fun. So get ready to have fun with yourself. Let's start. Stand up, come on to your mat. So first posture, I want you to bring your hands together. Backs of the hands touch. Put one hand over the other. Interlock your fingers. And then bring your hands to this point. If you can make it to this point with your hands together, you get one point. If you can't do this, then please go see a doctor. And then you're gonna straighten out your arms as much as you can, like this. If you can do this straight, elbows are straight, there's no pain, you get three points. Then you're gonna release your hands, you're gonna shake it out, and we're gonna check the other side. Hands together. Put the other hand on top, interlock your fingers, hands come through, and then same on this side. You can straighten all the way, congratulations, you're the best. If you can't quite, that's two points, and if you can't straighten at all, one point, and then shake out your hands. So you also want to check which side felt tighter to you, the left side or the right side, because we also want to see where our imbalance of flexibility is. Cool? Okay, great. We're going to move to our shoulders next. That's these. And let's bring our feet about as wide as our shoulders, so drop your arms, and then just bounce a little bit, up and down. Let's take a deep breath in. Exhale all the way out through your mouth. Ha, 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 ha. Good job. And then slowly stop. Bring your hands together, interlock your fingers, and let's reach our palms up to the ceiling. Make your body nice and long, and see if you can touch your ears with your arms. Good, and we're gonna hold here and breathe all the way in. Exhale all the way out. Ah, good. What part of your body do you feel the most? Do you feel your shoulders right now? Do you feel your spine? I want you to check the feeling of your body. Take one more breath all the way in. Exhale all the way out. Ah, release your fingers. And now drop your arms nice and easy. Very good. And then lift one hand to the ceiling. Bring your other hand behind your back by your shoulder blades. And then bring your fingers towards each other to touch. So I'm going to turn around. So if you can touch your fingers, that's really great. And then see if you can go a little deeper and see if you can make a fist with your hands this way. Take a deep breath in, exhale all the way out. And then release your hands and let's switch sides. Right hand down, left arm up, fingers towards each other. If you can touch your fingers and if it's possible to make a fist, grab your arms and hold for one more breath. All the way in and breathe all the way out. Ah, good, and then release your hands again, and then shake out a little bit. Shake, shake, shake. How'd you do? How many points did you get? Let me know in the comments. That's what YouTubers say. Next, we're gonna check the flexibility of our hamstrings. Let's do it. So with your feet, I want you to touch them together. Stand up nice and tall. And then take a deep breath in, similar to before. Lift your hands up to the ceiling. Take a deep breath in. And then when you exhale, you're going to fold forward from your waist. Keep your legs straight, keep your spine straight. Bring your hands down towards the floor. <laughs> so you're gonna hold here. Take a deep breath in. Exhale out through the mouth. <sighs> and then let your head relax. Top of the head hangs, legs are straight. Bend both knees, and then roll your spine all the way up to center, nice and slow. Your head comes up last. Good job. Again, shake out a little bit. So far, we've done shoulders, we've done arms and wrists, we've done hamstrings. Now it's time for the dreaded hip stretch. So we're going to do a wide angle seated stretch. This is my legs, wide angle. Open your legs into a V, nice and wide, spine is straight, hands on the floor. If you're here already, guess what? One point, you did it. Now walk your hands forward. Two points is if you can touch your elbows to the floor, leaning forward. 
Good job. I love my hips. You can get even up to three points if you touch your forehead to the floor. So try to bring your forehead all the way down doot, to the floor. That's three points. You can get four points if you touch your chest to the floor. I'm still working on that one. But I got three. How did you do? Let me know in the thing on the bottom of the thing where you put things. Okay, good job. So we did our shoulders, we did our hamstrings. Now let's check our, the strength of our body. So we're gonna take a plank posture. So that means coming down to the floor, onto your hands and knees to start is good. And then clear out a little space for yourself. We're gonna take our forearms onto the floor. Your elbows are under your shoulders. Interlock your fingers, good, and then Leg straight, kick your basket out of the way, that's in your way. And then we're gonna make straight legs, lift your hips up off the floor. We're gonna practice today just for one minute. So the timer has begun. Inhale, and exhale. And then start to notice what part of your body is getting warm, what muscles are engaged, if it's really hard, and smile a lot, that's a big tip. Almost there. Breathe in and breathe out. <sighs> wow, I can see how dusty my floor is when I do plank posture. That's wonderful. Inhale, exhale. Almost there. I think one minute is about up. Let's do 10 seconds more. 10, 9, 8, 7. Oh, my cat is being weird in the video. 6, 5, Four, three, two, one. Knees touch. Come on up to center. And then pet your cat. Yay. How did you do? Were you able to do the whole minute? Was it easy? Are you sweating a little bit? So again, check in. Uh, and especially leave some comments in the thing on the bottom there. On the old doobly-doo, as they say. So how did you do? How was your flexibility? How was your plank posture? So write some comments on the bottom so I can check them out. And then I look forward to seeing you next time in the next video. You may even get an even cuter cat. This gimmick is gonna wear out quickly. Okay, flexibility check number one. Can you do this? If you can, then you're very flexible.